You'll be watched more closely than ever this New Year's Eve as authorities beef up city safety. Harvey Biggs is outside Adelaide Oval and Harvey, new security cameras have been switched on. Yeah, that's right, Will. I'm here on the Torrance Riverbank footbridge and above me is one of five new security cameras that's been installed and switched on in time for New Year's Eve. Here at South Plaza, across the river on the other side of the footbridge, along the riverbank and over at Elder Park. And as we prepare to celebrate New Year's Eve and let our hair down, authorities are gearing up for one of their busiest days, busiest nights of the year. And uh, these new cameras will be a vital part of their new arsenal to crack down on crime and bad behaviour. They'll also complement 21 other security cameras that have been installed between here at Adelaide Oval right through to Guja Street at the Central Markets, creating a now complete safety corridor that links together our cultural precincts and authorities hope creates a safer CBD. Take a listen. It's about the prevention aspects of people understanding that their behaviour is being monitored at the time and that can assist police um, in attending a scene much earlier prior to an incident uh, escalating. To those of the public who want to come out and, and have a good time without being stupid, this is a safe place to be. To those who want to be idiots, uh, stay away from here because this place is uh, being monitored. Now, the footbridge is one of the main focuses of these new cameras, but it will be closed periodically tomorrow between 8pm and 1am for two fireworks displays. Rhett Burney has the details. Preparing for a cracking night, the latest jewel in the city's crown set to play a starring role on New Year's Eve. We've actually specifically designed some new fireworks, especially for this event, uh, so they can uh, go on the bridge so they're nice and close to the people. Nearby at Alder Park, the stage is almost set. The city's Lord Mayor getting into the spirit early. <laughs> and promising the 30,000 plus crowd a celebration even bigger and better than last year. We've got about eight acts which take us through to midnight, including DJs, live musicians, the whole lot, the whole ensemble, it's going to be great fun. Across the Torrens, 35,000 cricket fans are expected at Adelaide Oval for the Strikers game, while City nightclubs are preparing for an influx. Extra security, extra bar staff, extra floor staff, many people coming through the doors. Now of course, the centrepiece for any major city at New Year's Eve is the fireworks, and Adelaide is no different. In fact, this year our city is going one better. Around one tonne of fireworks to be released from the Torrens Riverbank footbridge at midnight. The skies will also come alive at Glenelg, where a sea of revellers will ring in 2015 at a glow party. Free public transport on hand to help party goers from the city and the bay. And we have RAA uh, shuttle bus service, which runs every 20 minutes. From midnight onwards, there's going to be free transport onwards to take everybody home in all directions. Victor Harbour also a New Year's Eve destination, with a party kicking off from 7 o'clock. Rhett Burney, 9 News.